Now, video games are, at their very core, very silly experiences. Even if their content is incredibly serious, it's meant to be fun on some level. And you don't get more fun than when it comes to joke weapons. Because, you know, being killed by a giant sword is one thing, but then being killed by a weapon that shoots rabid badges at you, well, that's definitely another. So let's have a chat about them today. As I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 joke game weapons that are secretly incredibly powerful. Number 10, The Quacker, Crackdown 2. Now, by and large, Crackdown 2 was a bit of a letdown because it borrowed just way too much from its predecessor while only making few significant changes or advancements. However, one saving grace was that it turned an almost useless Easter egg from the first game, The Quacker, into an adorably fatal device. Specifically, and as the name suggests, The Quacker is a sticky grenade disguised as a duck. Equally fitting is the fact that it's found at the Funland Amusement Park at the Chuck's Ducks 2 stall after the area is seized from terrorist organization The Cell. Once planted, its eyes glow red and it emits a lovable quacking sound, eagerly awaiting your overpowered officer protagonist to hit the detonation button. When you do so, it explodes with enough energy to severely damage, if not instantly obliterate, everything around it. Without a doubt, this is one rubber ducky you don't want to toy around with in the bath. Number 9. The Golden Chicken Egg Resident Evil 4 2023 Now, Last year's Resident Evil 4 remake was widely praised for maintaining and even improving upon nearly everything that made it such an inspirational classic in the first place. In typical Capcom fashion, that meant that it was full of outlandish costumes and items, with the golden chicken egg becoming Leon S. Kennedy's most ridiculous but actually cunningly effective upgraded instrument of destruction. Well, if only for just one boss fight. You see, in the original 2005 title, the golden chicken egg could be sold for 3,000 pesetas. It could also be used to stun enemies or ingested to restore 100% health. Now, as alluded to with the disgrace of the Salazar Family Quest, though, the 2023 remake goes a step further by allowing you to stun antagonist Ramon Salazar and deplete 70% of his health in just one hit. Admittedly, finding a golden egg can be a tedious task. I mean, one is located around the east side of the lake after you get the boat, whereas the other requires the cubic device to unlock a treasure box in the castle's throne room. But nevertheless, being able to take down one of Resident Evil 4's nastiest baddies so quickly and humorously is a cracking good time. Number 8. The Water Pistol Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain Hideo Kojima's iconic series is ripe with tongue-in-cheek collectibles and artillery, including risque magazines, bananas, a rocket arm, and even Mario and Yoshi dolls. Although Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain's toy water pistol may actually seem like the most pointless one of them all, it's actually more tactically deadly than it superficially is jokey. Developed after Venom Snake completes Mission 18 and obtains the Children's Reward key item, the water pistol can be upgraded and is initially convenient for just putting out fires holding up guards, stunning the parasite unit, aka the skulls, and creating noises for distractions. That being said, its true secretive potential lies in its ability to detonate mines from far away, kill electronics, and best of all, take down the man on fire. You see, the intended way to conquer the man on fire during mission 20 is to douse him with H2O from the pipes scattered around the level, yet it's likely easier to simply shoot him with the water pistol several dozen times and watch him become increasingly annoyed and weak. Sure, it's possibly the slowest way to knock him down, but it's also delightfully sadistic and very, very silly. Number 7. The Toy Spitball Gun – Dead Rising 2 In contrast to the other entries on this list, there's scarcely a weapon throughout the entire Dead Rising franchise that's not a gag of some sort, particularly when it involves combining two or more unrelated items. Nonetheless, the Toy Spitball Gun from Dead Rising 2 and Dead Rising 2 Off the Record takes the cake when it comes to not judging a book by its comical cover. Now, Ordinarily, it does precisely what you'd assume against the common undead foe, which is absolutely nothing. But when shot at the fleeing helicopter of Terra Is Reality host Tyrone TK King during Case 5-2, it does a lot of damage because it's classified as a thrown object rather than an otherwise ineffective firearm or projectile. Now why that's the case is anyone's guess, but you know what, I'm sure glad that it does that. Because this boss battle is annoying. But that's not the gun's only hidden advantage either, as it can be turned into the fire spitter once joined with the Tiki Torch. Instead of blowing a steady stream of flames like a standard flamethrower, it shoots significantly more powerful fireballs that engulf anyone who dares crosses your path. Number 6. The Thirst Zapper Fallout 4 
Found within the sixth and final DLC for 2015's Fallout 4 Nuka World, the Thirst Zapper appears to be a joyfully retro but majorly futile water gun whose main purpose is to help with three Nuka Cade games Nuka Zapper, Bandit Roundup, and Wacker Commie. However, once the Project Cobalt schematics, as well as the Gun Nut and Science perks, are employed alongside the VAT's targeting system, it's possible to transform the Thirst Zapper into a truly formidable firearm. Specifically, it can become the Nuka Cola gun, which dishes out radiated Nuka Cola damage, the Cherry Gun, which sparks small explosions, or the Quantum Gun, which causes consistently fatal nuclear blasts. Clearly, it's quite a devastating firearm when fully modified. Even in its purest form, the Thirst Zapper is able to turn the tables on Raider leader Overboss Coulter during the Taken for a Ride quest, since, you know, his power armor is electrified and therefore highly susceptible to water. It's possible to kick his butt without using the Thirst Zapper, but why wouldn't you when it's so damn fun and so very easy? easy this way. Number 5. The Wooden Sword, Ninja Gaiden Now, wooden swords have to be amongst the most common weapons in all of video games, with The Elder Scrolls, Five Skyrim, Little Big Planet, The Legend of Zelda, Kingdom Hearts, and Supraland being a handful of the many titles to feature them. Even so, arguably none of them possess the same world-shattering capability as the wooden sword in 2004's Ninja Gaiden. Now, to be clear, it's not so much the initially limited wooden sword that's worthwhile, it's what happens when the tool is fully transformed into the unlabored flawlessness following over half a dozen upgrades that warrant celebration and a lot of hesitation. Simply put, the unlabored flawlessness can perform aerial attacks and mirror some of the moves harnessed by other heavy weapons. It also has some unique combos as well. Its greatest attribute, though, is its propensity to do more damage when the player's health is low. In fact, it does 150% of its usual lethality when protagonist Ryu is at 25% health, and when he's basically on death's doorstep, it does 200%. It even glows when supercharged, which is just plain cool, and it can be purchased from Maramusa at any point during Hayabusa's journey. Number 4. The Scrambler – Enter the Gungeon Look, there's no rule to having more than one chicken-centric example on a list, especially when the second one is as merrily goofy yet lethal as Enter the Gungeon's Scrambler Gun. Now, to be fair, Devolver Digital's treasurable top-down bullet hell roguelike is packed with ridiculous items, but the Scrambler definitely outdoes them all. Basically, it's similar to the Flare Gun, but it fires a large egg that breaks into five smaller and thus deceptively dangerous homing eggs. It's inherently a strong shooter, but it gets better when synergies, which are upgrades from holding multiple weapons at once, come into play. For instance, when pairing it with the pig, it results in the bacon and egg synergy that increases the speed of the scrambler's eggs by 50%. Likewise, the chicken flute spawns the bullet or the egg synergy that doubles the size of each shot, which breaks up into 10 smaller bullets instead of the usual 5. Other combinations, such as with the light gun, phoenix, or weird egg, lead to new effects as well, meaning that the scrambler is remarkably menacing and versatile. Number 3. A Simple Fork – The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is just a gift that keeps on giving, being it in terms of its narrative engagement, character development, endless exploration, or, in this case, its knack for surprising players with secret weapon opportunities. Now, The Fork is a superb example of this, because while it's very ineffective during the base experience and can't be upgraded, it gets a lot more heft in the Dragonborn, Dawnguard, and Hearthfire DLCs thanks to its compatibility with enchantments. In particular, pairing it with Paralyze allows it to, well, paralyze an enemy for 10 seconds. Likewise, Frost damage freezes up their health and stamina, fire damage burns them, soul trap fills a soul gem with vanquished combatants, and shock damage electrifies their health and magicka. You can even add chaos damage to intensify its first strike physicality. And while all of this does apply to the knife as well, destroying people with a fork, well, it's just much funnier and more satisfying. Of course, you could use them together to double your humor and hazardousness. Number 2. The Frying Pan – Fable Now, hitting people in the face with a frying pan is an age-old staple of slapstick comedy, so it only makes sense that you can do it in the wonderfully quirky Fable and Fable the Lost Chapters. What's not so predictable, however, is the amount of harm your culinary accessory can cause. Digging it up in the orchard farm before you find all six treasure clues will render it worthless since it won't do any damage or have any augmented slots. On the other hand, finding it after all the clues are uncovered results in the frying pan having up to five slots, and if all of them are used, well, it gets exponentially more threatening. Filling it up with mana or health augmentations recharges those abilities every time the item is used, whereas the experience augmentation grants 10% extra experience with each kill. The sharpening augmentation does the same for weapon damage, and the lightning and flame augmentations ensure that weapons are especially fatal to monsters who are already weak against those elements. There's almost no limit to how much tougher the frying pan can make you. And the bizarre face on the inside, well, that's just obviously an added treat. And number one, the sexy beam, Silent Hill 3. 
There are many things that players might expect from the Silent Hill universe, primarily sadistic violence, grotesque monsters, and mind-bending mysteries, yet erotic extermination from a teenager probably isn't one of them. Enter Silent Hill 3's Sexy Beam, which is only available if our main hero Heather Mason has both the Transform costume wand and the Heather Beam. Basically, Heather needs to use the wand to become her alter ego, Princess Heart, whose Sailor Moon-esque attire and posing definitely make for some uncomfortable viewing for someone her age. If the Heather Beam is equipped as well, it'll turn into the even more savage Sexy Beam, which combines the Heather Beam's projectiles and targeting acquiring lasers into a single high-powered strike, complete with flickering white hearts. She can also shoot rays from her glowing eyes in what feels like an unsetting allusion to the hallway scene in Ghostbusters 2. Additionally, unlike the Heather Beam, the Sexy Beam doesn't even drain Heather's stamina, so she's consistently able to be at the height of her formidableness. This makes it a scarily salacious force to be reckoned with, but when you look at it, it's downright weird and even more hilarious. And there we go, my friends. Those were 10 joke video game weapons that are secretly incredibly powerful. I hope you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below. As always, I've been Jules. You can go follow me over on FGS, or the Future Game Show, where I do all of my gaming content going forward, or you can swing by Instagram, where it's at RetroJ, but the O is a zero. Hope to see you over there. But before I go, I just want to say one thing. Hope you're treating yourself well with love and respect, because you deserve all the best things in life, all right? Hope you're smashing your life goals today. I believe in you. Now go out there and get it done. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.